Andre, every quarter, manufacturers publish their quarterly sales reports. Yes. And we go through them to see what's happening in the car industry, and usually it's not that interesting. But the first quarter of 2024 has been incredibly eye-opening, especially regarding two manufacturers. Specifically, Tesla sales are going way down, and Toyota sales are going way up. Yeah, so in this video, we're talking about the news and talking about what could be working and what may not be working in automotive trends in terms of electric cars, hybrids, gas vehicles, and everything you need to know. Now let's start out with Toyota, Andre. So Toyota has had a pretty gangbuster quarter one of 2024. Yeah, they have a lot of headline grabbing news. Uh, their SUV sales are up, their crossovers are up, their sedan. Actually, almost every vehicle is up, specifically their best seller. It's the RAV4. And they sold 45,340 of them just in the March of 2024, and almost 125,000 of them in first quarter. Yeah, so, I mean, that's an incredible amount of vehicles. Um, and we're seeing increases in percentages too, mostly across the board, right? Yeah, in fact, you know, the RAV4 grew by 45%. It already wow. was a strong seller. Oh my gosh. Now it's even better. Forerunner, the aging Forerunner, went up 70%. 70? 70? Seven zero. Wow, so it's 14 years old and it's up 70%. <laughs> I guess people love those V6s. Unreal. But I mean, looking at some of these numbers, right? Camry is aging, that, that's also up, right? Uh, Camry is up 21%. They sold 30,323 of them. The truck story is more complicated because the new Tacoma sales are way down and we can describe that. But do you want to mention what's happening with Tesla? Yeah, so Tesla, um, they've had a pretty gangbuster last few years. Um, but uh, we're starting to see some shifts. We actually have um, a, a decrease in sales, right, Andre? Yeah, Q1 to Q1. So the first quarter of 2024, they delivered 386,810 vehicles. And we'll kind of break it down as much as possible. And that was minus a decrease of negative 8.5%. Yeah, right. And, and um, you know, that that's... Pretty alarming. I mean, it's it's not the end of the world. You know, it's less than 9%. So I don't want to blow this out of proportion, but the company has really been on top of the world in some ways, literally in, in sales, and especially for electric cars. And globally too. Global electric yeah. car sales, yeah, for, for quite some time with vehicles like the Model Y. And now we're starting to see some of that wane, um, especially interesting because we just saw a big refresh on the Model 3. Um, maybe Model Y will see a refresh and that might bring back some of those sales. But um, yeah, it, like Cybertruck, right? We Did they say how many Cybertrucks they sold? No, they don't break it out. So they they have two categories really at Tesla that they report under their sales release. And of course, they do a phone call or a conference call later, but mm -hmm. that comes like a month down the road. Uh, they break out Model 3 and Ys together. That's the huge chunk of their sales. And then they say other. So other is Model S, Model X, Semi truck and cyber truck, and cyber truck is a whole other pickle. Yeah, right. <laughs> because it doesn't appear like they're selling many of them, especially not compared to three and Y. Yeah. So um, now look, um, uh, what's I think really interesting, especially from Toyota sales, is a lot of their hybrid vehicles are doing really well. So what was the Crown up by? So the Crown is their kind of lifted sedan, right? The cl Crown went up 122.5%. Yep, hybrid more only. More than doubling. Yep, Prius, what was that up by? Prius was up by 83%. Is that right? Yeah. 83%. Yeah, so we're seeing a lot of interest in hybrid products from Toyota. Um, what about the BZ4X100? Do you have numbers on the mm, electric car? Not good. Uh, what did they sell? So they sold, as far as BZ4X, they sold 827 of them uh -huh. in the whole country just in March. It was up 13%, but 800 cars for Toyota, that's small potatoes. Yeah, not a lot of cars. Um, now, yeah. granted, the BZ4X, not the best electric car on the market. No. But we're clearly seeing a huge amount of interest in hybrid vehicles from Toyota. Now, part yeah. of that could be because Toyota is really pushing hybrid vehicles. Just about every vehicle they make now is either available or standard even in a hybrid, like Sienna, like Crown, right? Hybrid only now. But um, uh, I mean, this could be an indication, not saying Tesla's down a thousand percent, but this could be an indication that maybe Toyota was right by offering a lot of their vehicles with internal combustion 
at least partial options. Yeah. Right? Not full ICE vehicles necessarily, but vehicles that you still fill up and drive like a normal car on a regular basis. So I think also Tesla may have several issues going on, right, in general. Uh, a lot of their vehicles are aging, sure. like you mentioned. Mm -hmm. Model 3 is the only kind of a quote-unquote refresh. But if you look at it from afar, you may think it's the old Model 3, right? Yep. Yeah, and Cybertruck is all new, of course. But um, but they're not selling many of them at all. It's a very expensive vehicle. And it's also at least 100000 right now, right. and sometimes even more. And very, very hard to get. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that, that that's a little bit of a pickle for the brand. And I also think, uh, you know, this was made the news rounds this week, that a lot of people are dissuaded now by the actions of um, CEO Elon Musk, yeah. right? A lot of folks out there don't want to support some of the antics he's been up to lately and some of the rhetoric that he's been um, discussing. And I think that's really starting to maybe have a negative impact on the sales and, and on the brand as a whole. Yeah. And like you mentioned, Toyota switching gears a little bit, they're really doubling down on the hybrid technology. For example, Roman and I are going to California next week to drive and see the new Camry. Yep. The new Camry is going to be all hybrid all the time. Mm -hmm. And they did that with the Sequoia. Sequoia is up 24.7%. Uh, the Tundra, let's talk about trucks a little bit. Sure. So the Tundra is having a gangbuster month and quarter. They grew by 41% in sales in the U.S. They sold 15,337 trucks. Uh, they have a hybrid Tundra available, but of course you can get a regular twin turbo hunt, uh, Tundra as well. Uh, Tacoma sales though? Down 55.5%, Tommy. And some of that could be down to the fact that they're switching over production, right? You got an old a lot generation. Of it is, a lot of it is up to that. Yeah, just launched. So the more revealing number for Tacoma is what's going to happen Q2, Q3, Q4 yeah. once they are fully up to delivering those products. Yeah, I, I was watching Tundra very closely a couple of years ago because the Tundra went through this, right? Right. The new generation of Tundra came out in 2022. Their sales dropped significantly for that first quarter. And then, not fast, but slowly, look, it's growing, and it continues to grow. I mean, the big surprise to me, um, Highlander is way down. Whoa, yes. Um, and I think a lot of that is down to the fact that Grand Highlander is starting to, to really eat into Highlander sales. Almost equaling now. Yeah. Almost equaling Highlander sales. But the big surprise, we mentioned it at the beginning, is the ancient, <laughs> aging Forerunner is up 70%. 70. So there still is a huge demand for basic old school naturally aspirated vehicles. And that's a, that's a. The Forerunner has a five speed automatic. Yeah, I think it's one of the few cars remaining with a five speed automatic. Yeah. Period. Um, yeah. I, NAV6, right? Basic interior climate controls, the window switches. It's all very old school, but there's still a huge demand for simple, reliable vehicles. And look, even Venza is up. Venza is up 55%. Corolla Cross is up 29.8%. Wow. So it appears to be Toyota and Mr. Toyota, you know, when he was ta talking about this, their chairman, right? Um, kind of, I think they were right. You know, offering hybrid vehicles, maybe a little bit more affordably, offering choice and going this way. It's also interesting that no one's buying Supras. No. 202 <laughs> Just 202 Supras were sold, down 18%. And no one's buying um, RC Lexuses, 145. LS Lexuses, 247. And, and LCs, LCs, 203. 203. I think most of the LCs are bought by our friend James. Yeah, right. He had two of them. <laughs> and consider that RX, 10,600. Yes, Right? So our Rex is still doing well. And Mirai, 71. So the hydrogen cars aren't mm, doing well. No, no more. The, you know, they're closing hydrogen stations in California. Right. So, so that, that future, unfortunately, looks like it's dissolving a little. Or maybe postponing. Maybe the hydrogen future is still... Maybe, but postponed. that's alarming that there's only 71 yeah. of those that were shifted. Yeah. So look, folks, I think, Andre, you were on to something. People want gasoline-powered vehicles still. I know a lot of the media is pushing... EVs. I love EVs. My mom just bought a used EV. She's really happy with it. Um, I love driving EVs. I think it's awesome. But it's important to remember that a lot of folks still are comfortable and satisfied with their gasoline-powered vehicles, both in standard internal combustion and hybrid. And a plug-in hybrid, too, right? Yeah. RAV4 available in plug-in hybrid along with a couple other vehicles. So um, that that's the stuff that's working for Toyota, and they are, they're laughing all the way to the bank. 
It appears to be so. Yeah. All right, folks. Well, let us know what you think in the comment section below. We'll be sure to update you throughout the year as we get new sales numbers. And hopefully Tesla, look, we love Tesla products. We've had threes and Ys and Xs, and they're all been pretty, pretty good with, you know, I, I also do question some of Elon's antics. We'll, we'll put it to you that way. Um, but um, yeah, I mean, um, the sales are struggling a little bit starting in 2024. Maybe it'll pick back up. And if things change dramatically, you'll hear it her first. Where, Andre? On altfl.com. And also, I'm going to break down some truck sales numbers when we get Ford, Stellantis, Ram, and others. Uh, I'll break it down, and you will see it at altfl.com. Sweet. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching.